tie its scale with Gail Southern Living. So mom and I are about to go out and hand out some more bags in a week or so. And I have six bags ready and the blue one with the handles, that one's a uh, food bag only. So I have six regular bags and one that's just food bag. We also have toiletries and let me show you what's inside these bags. Okay, this is our toiletries. Let me pull one out and I'll show you what's inside of it. Okay, inside the female toiletry bag is some flushable wipes. This is a pack I get from Walmart. And um, this is something somebody else donated. Uh, there's a little coloring book in here. And some map colors. And some entertainment, basically. A hairbrush. What else is in here? Deodorant. Socks. Toothpaste. Q-tips, shampoo, razor, hand sanitizer, ponytail holder, sharpener for the map colors, bar of soap, toothbrush holder, and toothbrush. That's everything. The red paper just identifies that it's a female. Let me show you what's in the men's. Okay, in the men's toiletries, uh, a pair of socks. I have this nice razor that someone donated. Flushable wipes. Toothbrush. Toothbrush holder. Playing cards. Deodorant. Bar of soap. Hand sanitizer, toothpaste, and a comb. And that's all that's in the men's bag. All right, so what's in the main part of the bag? Now, every one of these is a little different. I did find these uh, black hats at Dollar Tree. So I bought one of those. Some ramen noodles, cup of soup, another pack of ramen noodles, peanut butter crackers. Uh, this is a hygiene product that was donated. Peanut butter. I'm going to get some saltines to go with those if I haven't done it yet. Uh, one of those tuna, tuna salad kits with the crackers. Pudding. A bowl to go with the ramen noodles. I just threw something. Uh, fruit snacks. There is a spiral notebook. Uh, empty water bottle. New Testament Bible. Another feminine hygiene product that was donated. Uh, a card from me. A personal card from me with a handwritten note in it. A little bag of pretzels. Some silverware. Pop-tarts, because you can eat those without cooking them. A pen. And a pair of scissors. These were donated. And, of course, the bag itself was donated. It's a Day of the Dead bag. It's kind of cute. So this is what we basically put in all the main part of the bag. Then we hand them toiletries as well. And occasionally we'll make up food bags. It just depends. And we usually have cold drinks uh, in a cooler for them. I would like to do a fundraiser to raise money to purchase a, uh, basically they call it an old lady cart or a, or a grocery cart, a granny cart. It's called different things. But it basically has wheels on it. And I thought this would be really awesome to give to the, uh, people, you know, like if you, we find a woman or a little old lady that's having trouble carrying her stuff around, who's homeless, it would be nice to pick out someone specific and give that person one of those carts. So I looked at one on Amazon that was 50 bucks. So I thought I would do a fundraiser. I will put a link to my PayPal in the description box of this video. If you would like to donate, 
uh, $5, $10, whatever you have. Uh, of course, if we raise more than one cart, we'll put that toward the purchase of another one. I think this would be really awesome. Um, when I get my YouTube pay, I'm going to contribute something as well. And so I thought this was really cool. So I wanted to show you what was in the bags. And uh, if you can afford to uh, donate some money toward the fundraiser, that would be awesome. Also, I have an Amazon wish list for the homeless. I will also link that in the description box. And my address will be there if you would rather send a money order or cash or anything like that to go toward it. Uh, please put on your PayPal or on the money order that it's for homeless. That way I know and I can put it toward the right thing. So this is the basic stuff that we put in our homeless bags uh, like I said, everyone's a little bit different. Sometimes we, you know, put flashlights and also I had donated some t-shirts. So I'm going to start, uh, putting a, um, a t-shirt in each one of these bags as well. Uh, so they have a nice clean shirt to wear. Mom and I are going out to do the homeless ministry today. So we have our bag of food and toiletries. We made zucchini muffins, we have a cooler of drinks. We have some t-shirts that were donated. We have a box of miscellaneous stuff in case they need something. And we're about to go out in just a few minutes. There's mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. Hello. Okay, to wrap up today's video, I'd like to show you some work I've been doing. Um, I store the homeless stuff in my daughter's room. And I've been, you know, doing some spring cleaning. So I've been finding different baskets and things to store things and uh, so each one has different stuff in it I haven't put anything with the wooden one yet but the bottom one has toothbrushes and then bar soap uh, then I'm going to um, take the matte pencils and put a few in, e in a bag for them to be able to color uh, gathered up some shampoo bottles and I've been uh, filling those and uh, also in this bag, I have uh, silverware and, and Q-tips that I bagged up for them. And what did I put in this one? Oh, this one's uh, Kleenex. So I like to put Kleenex in there. You know, if they need to blow their nose or whatever. I also made up this little display of uh, Daughter's uh, Fox collection. So anyway trying to get organized in here. So I am taking donations for a shopping cart for the homeless. Uh, I also call it like a granny cart. And um, I will enclose a picture of it at the end. I'm going to link my PayPal. So if you would like to donate toward the cart for the homeless. Now I'm going to try to find someone who's having trouble carrying their stuff like you know, could be a woman, it could be an old man, uh, just somebody we feel that's in need. We'll pick that person out special as we're going out and about, mom and I. And so anyway, we're looking into getting maybe possible stickers to put on our stuff uh, for later, you know, to put in the bags and stuff. I did make up a little uh, paper, um, a little note for them. Uh, let me Let me get that real quick and I'll read it. Okay, let's see what this says. To the receiver of this bag, this gift is in loving memory of my daughter slash sister, Gretchen Renee. She was tragically killed by a car while walking in October 2022. We began the ministry on Christmas Eve 2022 and have continued this every month since then. We found out she had been homeless we hope this gift blesses you. We we are enclosing a spiral pen envelope and stamped so you can write your family. Maybe, maybe the circumstances have changed. Give them another chance. If not, I want you to know that God loves you and so do we. God is always with you. Pray to him and he will listen. And I enclose this Bible verse. A man of many companions may come to ruin. But there is a friend who is closer than a brother. Proverbs 18.24 I signed it with God's love, Gail and Jan. So, 
and I put Broken Hearts Ministry and put a little logo there. So we're thinking about getting a little logo sticker to put on our stuff. We do always include include a Bible in these bags. So, and my my church has been donating those for me, and I think my mom has been buying some. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in donating toward the cart, uh, please send me a PayPal and and let me know that you want to donate toward the cart. And then we will be giving that away and we'll try to see if we can get a picture of the person that we take a pic that we give it to. That way you guys can see uh, who was the receiver of the cart. So you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind guys. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.